Hello and gents, Rook here and welcome to Norm Films. And today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News. Um, if you are watching my Final Cut Pro um, tutorials, there is an update available for you in the App Store. Go ahead and launch your App Store and then go to the far rightmost tab to the actual um, updates and you'll notice that there's an update 10.2.2. I have a full video about that. I'll have a link in the description for you guys regarding that as well. But moving on to the news portion, we do have the conference that is going to be held tomorrow, September 9th at uh, 10 a.m. PDT. And uh, you can watch the keynote uh, on your actual computer or it's going to be live streamed more than likely. And also if you ask Hey Siri, give us a hint. Um, she'll actually give you a little hint or somewhat of a, I would say, not so much of a hint. I don't know. It's just she's just playing a game with you. But uh, moving on, we do have <clears throat> the new Apple TV that I've been covering for the past, I believe, three or four weeks, which is supposed to be <laughs> basically it's developers can have access to it. You can people can see a lot more apps for it. You might even see some games for it. It's <laughs> it's supposed to be competition for the PS4 and Xbox One, just simply because now developers can build apps for the Apple TV for you to actually use and and uh, basically um, interact with more deeply. Like the only thing I don't get is uh, how is the controller part gonna work? I know the new remote's supposed to have a touch screen on it, but that can't be enough for if you're gonna make games and stuff for the actual Apple TV, if you were to do something like that. And But we'll find out more tomorrow regarding that. Just thought I'd throw that out there again. Also, we have the iPhone 6S. It's supposed to have a 3D touch, three level next gen force touch interface. This is honestly pretty cool and at first, I thought it was going to be just a simple, uh, just a basic touch, uh, force touch type of touchpad. But now they're going to three level, three different kind of uh, sense. It's really going to be basically the screen is going to be extra sensitive. And uh, I'm actually interested to see how well this plays out since uh, I'm really excited to get the new iPhone success. Um, moving on, we do have the app here, uh, the next app. It's a keyboard. I'd say, I believe it's the top app at the moment and uh, for free. It's pretty cool, really interesting. I played around for a little bit, but I'm not too much into keyboard apps, but this one did, did grab my attention. Um, last but not least, I thought this was interesting. <laughs> since the keynote is going on tomorrow, September 9th, there's already someone camping outside the Apple store. <laughs> It's they're right. I, I was just I couldn't stop laughing at that, but yeah, that's basically it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. Siri, give us a hint. Okay, here it is. Zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one one zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one zero 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 one one zero 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 one one zero one one zero one zero 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 one one zero 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 one so let my